Okay, so I initially said I wasn't gonna do quad toe for another couple weeks, but the reason I did it yesterday is because I felt the ice was really, really good in that rink, that is. So, this rink, it still feels like the ice is still a little bit fresh because they just put it in about two weeks ago. The other one felt like it's been sitting for longer, but it's getting better. I'm gonna go triple up, triple toe, triple toe right now. It's not a very practical combination competition, and especially these days with this judging system, you'll pretty well never see it because it's just not, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to do it, but it's fun to do it in practice and it's kind of good so that just the triple up, triple toe gets much easier. If you can do triple up, triple toe, triple toe, then omitting the last one should be pretty, pretty easy, but it might not turn out well, we'll see. Combos are definitely getting much better. I mean, they're not perfect, but much, much better as opposed to like day one. So if you wanna go look at day one, you can check out the triple let's triple toe then. Night and day difference. That triple loop was straight up phenomenal. Like, that's like a one in a, once a month kind of thing. Okay, so that wasn't the prettiest triple axle, but the good thing about half of triple sow is it's sort of a, it's a safety. You can make a jump look better just by adding that to the end. But you can't do it all the time, so. Next one should be better. First time I did triple axle, triple toe combo for four months. It's a little bit different. Like it's a different mindset going into an axle, knowing you have to do a triple toe after, so it's okay. For the first one, it's pretty good, but shaky, you know? A little sketch here and there. I'm just gonna try to do maybe two triple sows, sorry, two quad sows, and then I'll do quad toe maybe on the next session, but I'm still not necessarily doing quad toe every session. Because if the triple goes a little bit weird, then I'm not gonna do it. But today the triple was good, so maybe second session I'll do another quad toe. But for this session, two more quad sows. Kind of going for a quad style triple toe, but uh, it didn't work. Anyway, I'll do it next session. Okay, so we're gonna do some spins. I think they've improved quite a bit since the first time I tried them. I think that was like day four to six or something. I don't even remember, but they definitely are not as nauseating, so hopefully this flying camera will just blow your socks off. <laughs> better I'm gonna do now combo spin I'm sticking to two spins per session just so that I'm not like throwing up after and then I'm sort of getting used to it and then honestly once they get into programs it's not gonna be that crazy as long as I do two a day and then slowly increase from two a day but I'm sticking to two a day so second one of the day is gonna be a combo spin for session one. The money jump is gonna happen. So if I did quad like that, it'd be pure money. Like that's the ideal takeoff, ideal height, ideal everything. That was really, really good. Now I need to just chill out for this moment. Conquer this moment. I don't feel the best right now, but I'm gonna conquer this yeah. moment. Try number one from day two. I'm not feeling great, but 
we'll do it. Okay, so that was actually better than what I was feeling going into it. I probably could have stepped out of that one if I wanted to, but this one's it. All right, so I didn't do it. I did one that I stepped out, but my camera turned off. I forgot about the 30 minute record limit. I hate that 30 minute record limit. But yeah, I, I didn't I didn't quite do it. Tomorrow, tomorrow we can do it. Tomorrow we can do it. All right, so this is day two. I feel pretty fiery right now, so. Still's gotta happen today, it's gotta. Okay, so that's what I meant. Like, I'm starting to feel a little fiery today. I feel this toe can be easy. This toe can be easier than it was yesterday. Oh, I should have pulled in on that triple. If I pulled in, it'd be good. I don't know why I opened up. Regret, instant regret. Okay, come on, last one. Initially, we were only gonna do three, but I really wanna get that one landed just before the weekend, because today's Friday. Like, that last one was like really, really good. I would be landing those takeoffs if I was doing it regularly, which I haven't been doing for four months. So if I was doing that, I'd be landing them. I just gotta like, trust it. There's that little bit at the end that I just gotta give a little bit, a little bit more. <laughs> Yeah, so I didn't end up doing it. Some of them were really, really close. The last one wasn't that amazing, to be honest. I was starting to try harder than I had to. And the ones that I actually turned into triples, those were the ideal ones. And the ones that I was actually rotating were the non-ideal ones, but it's okay. Be like that. Sometimes the jumping gods are just not friendly and don't want you to land them. So I'm gonna try to make peace with them in the meantime. You guys know what to do like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys in the next video with most likely, or no, what, not even most likely, I promise successfully landed quad toes. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time with at least one, like at least one quad toe. Let, let's try multiple, right? Because you already had one, so we need more than that. Putting pressure on myself, that's the way to do it.